Hey guys, it's Cho and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my empties for the month of May. Now, strangely enough, if you guys have been watching my current videos, you'd know that I'm going through a 28 day trial with Even Prime and some of their products. I was gifted their core set of products and I also bought some products to test for 28 days. So the majority of my skincare has been comprised of using those products. However, at the beginning of the month, I had just gotten rid of four different products that I'm gonna talk about today. The first MD that we're gonna go over is the um, Paul of Choice 20% Niacinamide. Gotta have a little bit of ASMR, you guys know me. Um, throw back to the OG subscribers and followers that followed me back when this was an ASMR channel. Scroll to my older videos where I do ASMR. I am an ASMR artist. Um, anyway, um, the 20% niacinamide treatment is a product that I actually love a lot, but spoiler alert, I will not be repurchasing it anytime soon. The main reason why is because niacinamide is one of those ingredients where all the girls know that niacinamide is that girl. Okay, like we all know niacinamide is so good. It's gonna help with your pore size. It's gonna help with, um, sebum production and regulating sebum so in turn it's going to help to like kind of regulate your acne um potentially it's also going to help with brightening um it just does so many things it's soothing it's a powerhouse ingredient and so you can definitely find niacinamide in a lot of different things they say that you really only need about five percent of niacinamide a day so the 20 percent is a little bit over overdone like and i think that more likely than not you may you may incur some um, irritation. That being said, that's all in theory. For my personal anecdotal um, uses, I have had a great experience with this product. Like for sure, I love it. I feel like it really does what it says it does in terms of dramatically um, getting your texture together. Like if you have like really rough bumps, I feel like that is something that can really um, help you if you have stubborn bumps or like really stubborn, saggy pores. I feel like 20% is gonna be really great. Parlor's Choice, she doesn't miss when it comes to formulations. This is a highly um, highly formulated, well-formulated product that I definitely, it's great if you need it. I just don't think that most people need this product. It's just so much niacinamide. And I think that you can get niacinamide in a lot of other products. Some that you may not even know has it in there. Anyway, moving forward. The next product is another clinical Paula's Choice product. Now, um, you guys probably know I've been talking about this product a lot because of the Bakucho controversy. Um, go look at that shit up there. It's a hot mess, believe me. Um, but the Paula's Choice 0.3% retinol and 2% um, Bakucho is my holy grail product i have like three holy grail products this is one of them um the reason why is because it's formulated with peptides it's formulated with vitamin c as well um and that vitamin c gives me you know gives you sort of like a brightening effect you know vitamin c is you know well known as a brightening agent usually vitamin c is something that's you know very irritating and so can retinol retinol can be irritating as well so the fact that you know this is formulated together in conjunction with the bucucho which is clinically shown studies have shown that it stabilizes the retinol so that's why bucucho is so great now if you want to ask my personal opinion i'm not exactly sure if bucucho is a I don't think enough research has been done to prove that it is an adequate replacement for retinol. I'm not sure if I'm on that bandwagon quite yet. However, I feel like I've had such great results with this retinol. I feel like every retinol should be um, formulated in conjunction with the Bukucho. There's nothing wrong with my views or beliefs because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true. I just feel like it helps to reduce the irritation. It amplifies the effects of retinol. I just feel like it's like the perfect pair, like peanut butter and jelly. Like, like, right? I don't know. It's just a product that 
you know, is really great for me. I feel like it gives me like a buttery, bright texture. Do you know what I mean? Like look at my skin. Like even though I'm having like a major breakout, it's still giving what it's supposed to be giving. Um, and I think that a lot of my complexion is due to this product right there. So I will definitely be buying this again. I'm in my second bottle. I think that I unboxed it for you guys a couple weeks back, but I love this stuff and I definitely recommend this to anybody, especially if you are um, above the beginner stage of trying out retinols. I definitely recommend that for sure. And I will be leaving all the links to these products down below. Um, remember guys, always check the description box for links and resources. Um, I also wrote a pretty big piece about niacinamide on my blog. So if you want to know a little bit more about the science behind niacinamide and you know why it's so good for your skin, check the description box below. Third um, um, product that we're going to talk about today is the Sugar Advanced Therapy by Fresh Beauty. Now, coincidentally, this is another one of my holy grail products. So I have three. I have the Paula's Choice product that I just described before this one. I have this um, lip treatment, lip balm, and then the Even Prime Barrier Serum. Those three are always going to be in my routine, no matter what. Um, this lip balm is just, I don't know how to describe it. It says that like you will have 24 hour hydration and she doesn't lie. Like, I use this twice a day, when I wake up and when I go to sleep. That's all I do. I use it twice a day. My lips are hydrated, they're plump. They give me like the Kim Kardashian fantasy. Like it's giving me Kylie Jenner fantasy when I put this on. Um, now of course, if you are eating food and you're like smacking your lips and like really, you know, going to town, um, then you may have to reapply. But in general, I really honestly feel like this is the only lip balm where I can literally put it on once per day and definitely get long lasting hydration and plumpness in my lips. So I swear by this, easily swear by this. Definitely pick this up. I feel like my empties, I feel like I usually have such good reviews when it comes to my empties. I dread the day where I have to like rip a brand apart, um, but who's, who knows? We'll get there. Maybe maybe we won't. Let's hope that we don't get any bad products. But I feel like every product that I talk about, I like have glowing reviews for it. I think I'm just lucky with picking out products. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I love it. I mean, I'm I'm so passionate about it, and it's what I do. Your passion all the time. Um. The last product that we're gonna talk about today is um, by Even Prime. You guys know I love Even Prime, um, the Daily Moisturizer. Now, you guys know that I was recently given um, a Daily Moisturizer to try out for 28 days. Um, however, I did purchase this with my own coin, okay? Um, I love this, I like it a lot. Now, um, I have some nuanced opinions about this product that I'm going to leave to just my buy me a coffee page. I'll leave a link below. I'm doing kind of like a vlog series where I talk about my experiences with Eden Prime and how I like their collection as a complete skincare set and skincare routine. Um, for me, I feel like this is not good enough for the winter time. It's a very lightweight moisturizer um but it's chock full of really great ingredients niacinamide um what else does it have i have a list here uh licorice root centella um so it's really great in terms of um soothing the skin reducing the inflammation and i've been going through a lot of stuff with my skin this past month and i really feel like the even prime collection is really you know, calm things down as best as it could. So, and I don't wanna give away too much of my opinion because it's in other videos. So check those other videos out if you if you want to know my real opinion on the collection as a whole. Um, but yeah, those are the four products that I'm emptying out this, this past month. Um, again, the niacinamide, I would not repurchase just because I don't feel like you need to have niacinamide as a one step Thing in your routine I think it's just too much it's too much um, however it's a good formulation great formulation if your pores are sagging to the ground 
um, then yeah, she might be good for you. Um, Holy Grail, I can't say enough good things about this product. Holy Grail, can't say enough good things about this product. So definitely check those two out. And then again, lastly, with the Daily Moisturizer for Even Prime, I will be repurchasing this. I think for the summertime, it's great. For the wintertime, I will not be purchasing this product. I hope that Even Prime comes up with like a heavier cream for us, us dry, dehydrated girls because this is not gonna cut it. But during the summertime, this is definitely giving me what it is supposed to be giving me. Um, so yeah, that was my quick little rundown. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you are having a wonderful end to your May. Um, and let's look forward to June. I, I got some good stuff going on in June. I hope you guys do too. Drop down in the comment section below and let me know what plans do you have for the month of June? What are you manifesting? What are you trying to bring into existence? Tell me, I wanna know. Um, and don't forget guys, like this video for clear skin. Talk to you guys later. Bye.